Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day two of 12 days before Christmas crafts. Um, today I'm going to be making a 3D um, shadow box with some lights. I'm going to be using um, these fairy lights and as well as these frames um, that are 3D. Um, these are like little piggy banks, but I'm going to use it to make the 3D frames. That's one. Uh, they did have these ones as well, which I'm going to be able to disassemble and then use some like um, nail polish remover to remove the adventure, hopefully. Um, hoping that if the first one removes, then I'm, I believe these ones should come off completely. But like I said, they are 3D, so I'm going to go ahead and try and see if I'm able to do what I am wanting to do with these. So for today's project, I'm going to be using the um, piggy bank one or the coin, not the piggy bank. I'm probably saying that very weird or funny, um, but that's just the way I say that. I'm going to be using the coin um, collector one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start off by removing this plastic. That way we can go ahead and get started with our project that I have in mind. It's going to come out really cute. Um, what you will be needing for this project is this frame, some nail polish remover. Um, I purchased mine at the dollar store um, along where I got this frame. I purchased the cotton pads there as well. I couldn't find any cotton. Um, that's what I'm going to be using to remove um, the imprint that's inside of the glass. I would say it's inside of the glass. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and remove the this wooden part that holds the inside together. And that was really easy. So I'm happy about that. Um, now I'm sorry I'm so out of focus. I'm going to go ahead and remove this inside because I'm not going to be using this. So I was right that is an in the inside so now i'm going to grab my nail polish remover and a cotton pad and i'm going to go ahead and remove that so perfect it's coming off just like i wanted i'm going to go back and um remove like that residue with a, another cotton so i'm going to go ahead and do the front because i did see some spots with that paint on there and then now i'm just going to go in with a clean one and then I'm gonna go over the top all right so now I'm done with this and flip it over because I'm now going to measure it um, with my little handy little measure this is not very accurate I did buy it at Daiso um, maybe it's accurate I just don't know how to read it um, but I still use it because I can go based off of the little guides right here and then measure it with my map. So I'm going to go ahead and then just lay that there. Go based right there. I'm going to see it's the little line before the three right here. Now, being that this is a perfect square, I'm going to assume... And I'm going to know that it's the same all the way around. So it's the little line before the three. So if you count, it's it's a five by five. Okay, so now that we know that the box is a five by five in the inside, after cleaning it and measuring it, I'm going to go ahead and upload my images. Um, I do go through a specific vendor for these images. Um, he is on Etsy. I will be leaving his link down below. I purchased all of my 3D um, templates from him. Um, he normally has sales for them, so I would always look um, for them um, so that way you're aware of the sale. Sometimes he has buy one, get one free. Um, sometimes he has 40% off, 50% off, 30% um, off. It just depends on what he has going on at the moment. I'm going to be doing a Star Wars theme 
I went ahead and already uploaded them onto my design space. I already clicked on them. I'm going to go ahead and insert the images and they are perfect to go. It's going to want me to do it manually. Give me That's really giving me issues. Oh no, okay, so they're going. So I've got seven of them that I need to resize. Let's go ahead and move them as we cut them. So I have them all the same size. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make, because I want them um, to cut two per page, I'm going to go ahead and make them a different, two each of the same color. And then um, the last one, a color by itself, um, because I want them to cut two per sheet. So I'm going to press make it. I am going to be using cardstock um, for this project. Um, you're more than welcome to use any type of paper you'd like. I'm just used to using cardstock, so I'm going to go ahead and use cardstock. I have changed my blade. Um, I have been doing quite a few projects um, with my blade on pure cardstock, so it has made my blade dull, but no worries, I changed it already. So I'm going to go ahead and um, screen on over. Actually, I need to press edit and edit these, move them down below. Right, and I'm waiting for it to um, pick up my maker. I'm going to click on medium cardstock and I'm going to press more. Okay, so now the light is flashing, um, that means it's ready. I'm going to go ahead and press on it so it loads the mat. Um, it's going to be cutting uh, my images and then once it's done cutting, we will come back. So I'm going to press on the C as well so that way it starts cutting my images on the paper. Okay, so now that you are done cutting your um, pieces out for your um, 3D frame. As you can tell, they are layered. This is the first one. This is the second one. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth, sixth, and seventh. And being that the Cricut is not um, strong enough, um, well, it's strong enough, but it's not capable of doing these little holes. So you just want to grab something and pierce them through. And that's just something I did, but I did it on the wrong side. So you can really see it. But being that it's going to be layered, you won't be able to see it as much. Now that you're done with that, you're just going to go ahead and um, start building. Um, what I use is this foam tape. Um, what I do is I cut it um, in half right here. I cut it in half this way and then I cut it in threes, three to four, depending um, how many I'm able to cut on 
through here. So from that, I'm able to get this. Um, I did purchase this at the 99 cent store, which is my local dollar store. I know I have quite a few more um, local dollar stores, but I haven't actually really looked for this, but I'm pretty sure you can find this anywhere. Um, you will also be needing a fairy light. Um, I'm gonna be making this 3D light colored. Um, I believe I'm gonna use the colors blue, red, I'm gonna look up the Star Wars colors because I'm really not a Star Wars fan. This is gonna be for a gift, so I'm gonna see what colors I'm able to use. There is about 20 lights on this um, fairy light. It's battery operated, so we will be able to use it. Um, and it's thin enough to go ahead and enclose into the frame. Um, what I'm also gonna be doing is coloring these lights because this is just a plain white light. So that's for that. Um, let's go ahead and start building this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how I build mine. Um, you want to go ahead and just grab some squares. Sorry, I'm out of focus right now, um, but we will be in frame right now. And what I do is I put one on each corner, one in the middle, in the middles, so all four corners and um, all four middle middles. Let's go ahead and move this right here so we can have more room for you guys to see. I'm gonna go ahead and start building it. Once you're done building it, then that's when you remove the little stickies. I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, but this is just my way. I'm not saying this is the correct way. Um, but this is just how I've done majority of my my 3D boxes. I'll just leave this little t well came up. bigger tab on so it's easier to pull out okay so as you can see I have it in all four corners and all four middles and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the paper backing this is double-sided so it's gonna work perfect it's a little bit time-consuming but they make the best gifts um, whether it's for birthdays, Christmas, um, just like a simple good job gift as well. Like if they get good grades, I just, in general, this is very, very beautiful to give and always leaves people in awe. All right, so what you're going to do is now you're going to get this corner, you're gonna level it up and make sure that it is evenly on there. After you're done with that, you're gonna hold it and then just bring it down. And then you'll be able to press on the foams and make sure that it adheres correctly. That's gonna create a thin, um, maybe two centimeters in between each layer so we're going to do the same thing and we're going to continue doing this for all of them um, until we're completely done Okay, so now that you're done assembling your layers, you can start seeing the 3D effect. Like, and then you can see how it's built. I mean, the little squares aren't perfect, but it does its job. So I'm very happy with the way that came out. So I looked it up and it says that there's 
four main colors that are used in Star Wars, which would be the red, I mean the blue, the red, um, the green, and purple. I'm going to be using these colors um, to color the lights. I'm going to be using this Sharpie um, to go ahead and get these colors on there. So you want to go ahead and start um, unwinding these. Okay, so now I'm going to start off with the blue. I'm going to leave that red in the middle. So you're going to open your Sharpie. And what you're going to do is you're going to start coloring it. So being that there's four colors, I'm going to go every four colors. And I'm going to color the blue. Color these blue. Every four colors. Okay, so once you are done coloring the little bulbs, the colors that you want on your fairy lights, you are going to get your glue gun ready. Um, this is the glue gun that I use. The glue gun, sorry. It's pretty late. <laughs> um, um, it's Chan Chandler Tools. It's a no-drip um, glue gun. And then you're gonna, going to need Velcro. Um, this is just so that way you can stick um, this little battery pack on the back of the frame. And you're going to um, see which side you're going to use. Most likely, uh, this is going to be the top part only because this is where you can hang it. Um, but most likely, you can um, buy those little stands and then just stand it on one of those. Um, this this is what we're going to need um, to figure out and see where we're going to put this battery pack, which I think we'll put it in this way. Um, maybe just a tad bit higher. And then Or we can even put it here. And then we're going to um, make a little a little cut right here on the corner. So that way we can um, adjust the little wire to come out. Okay, so now that we've cut that, we know for sure we're going to have that little indent right there. So, we want to make sure how we're going to apply this. And then we're going to flip it over. And um, we'll Velcro that after. Um, so now, the fun part begins. You're going to start placing your lights. And what I do is, um, I will do it this way get my glue gun, pour a small amount of glue, and this is just so that it holds it. Please be careful and do not burn yourself. I have burned myself plenty of times. And then give it a couple seconds. And then just wait for it to cool down a bit and then you can press it down and that's going to hold it in place.
Okay, so once you're done um, gluing, you're gonna add a little bit of glue right here just so that that wire isn't moving around. Um, but this is what it looks like after um, gluing down all of the, the lights. Um, you can kind of see how they kind of swirl around. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your Velcro and you're going to unhook that. You're going to put it right there in the middle like that and then you're going to place that right there. Once you're completely done, you're going to set that to the side. And now to assemble. I'm going to put that part in the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and assemble. Let's move that to the side. Let's go more in frame. going to flip this inwards and place it in. You can kind of see um, that there is a gap. What can we do? Let's go ahead and get some glue. Make sure that we have it the way we want. Let's go ahead and turn it and we're going to put some glue in the corners so that it does not move. it dry. Now let's flip it over and make sure. Yes, it's perfect. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and just seal. So you're going to go side by side. sure that it's going to stay in place. We should actually be fine to actually put this in. I'm going to go ahead and remove this um, clear plastic thing from the light and then I'm going to insert this in. So, and then you know, lock it. If you would like to add just a tad bit of glue, like here in the corner, you can do so. You can literally just put a dot, and this is just going to lock it in. is going to help it from moving around. All right, so now that it's done, you can now turn on the little light and you'll be able to see it. Let me go ahead and turn off the light so that we can get a better view at this. All right. 
and you're completely done. This is a, the most cutest gift that you can give, simple. Um, like I said, I got the frame at Dollar Tree. This was one of those um, little coin things that you can do for savings. It's a coin frame saver. I'm really not sure the name of it, but I really, really love how this turned out. You can see the frame, um, how it has the light around the edges, which is okay. It's nothing too crazy. Um, the lights look amazing. And this is super cute. Um, super cute for a gift. And I really don't like how this bottom looks, so I'm going to think of something to put at the bottom. And so I did make an Alice in Wonderland. Um, if you'd like, I can go ahead and show you that one so that way you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. Let me go ahead and show you the Alice in Wonderland, even though I know it's completely off topic. Okay, so this is the Alice in Wonderland. Um, this is an 8x10. This is also an SVG from his website. Um, I really, really love it. It's super, super cute. Um, like I said, this is another gift. I'm going to be gifting to one of my good friends for Christmas. I really, really do hope she likes it. Um, I did pretty much the same thing. Um, cut, cut them all. Um, the same size and then fit them to the frame for this frame. I did purchase at Michael's um, It was a three pack 8 by tens, but it's super super cute But like I said, I really do hope you Love this video. I really do hope it helps you um, Like I said, they make really really good gifts to me this little one is super cute and um i know anyone who's a star wars fan would love it um, they make good night lights they make good just decoration overall um like i said these make really 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 good gifts i really do hope you enjoyed this video um i had so much fun making this i really do hope it's not a long video <laughs> Um, please stay tuned for more videos of 12 Days bef um, Before Christmas Crafts. Um, I will be back tomorrow with the third video. This is the second video. Um, this is a really super cute gift that you can give to anyone. Um, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Give me a thumbs up if you really, really like this um, project. And then as well as don't forget to hit that bell button so that way you're notified every time I upload a video. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.